A theme of highlighting creative women seems to be emerging this week. Today we meet Kathy Sauter of Lancaster, learn more about her journey to becoming a children's book author, and get a peek at her book, Marmalade and Mittens Get a Marshmallow, and how it's based on actual events. Well, I have to say, first of all, that you are in good company in this show and with this viewership when it comes to this book, um, Marmalade and Mittens Get a Marshmallow, because there are lots of animal lovers here. Tell me a little bit about this book and what inspired it. Sure, so um, Marmalade and Mittens is based off of my two cats at home that um, really inspire us every day with their antics. And um, I've always wanted to write a book and I never thought it was gonna be a children's book, but here we are. Um, and they get into all sorts of trouble, but this time it was with a mini marshmallow after it, it fell out of a bag when I was making a cup of hot chocolate. Um, during COVID, I had a little bit more extra time on my hands. And so it was just the opportune time to go through um, a passion project, if you will. And the pictures in here are so cute and anybody with a cat will recognize a lot of the ways that the two cats are acting in the story. Tell me about those illustrations. Yes, I can't draw worth anything. A <laughs> stick person is my best bet. Um, so Robin Boyer is a children's illustrator that I sought out and man, did she nail it. I sent her a picture of my two cats and just even down to the little intricacies, she really made the whole story come to life. And when I got that first sketch drawing from her, um, I knew I had found the ideal person to really narrate the story and really make it come to life. Well, it's just so beautiful. And your story is similar to so many other people. We were even talking about this yesterday, about during COVID that you found that creative thing and really ran with it. I did. It was one of those things I had a little bit more time on my hands like everybody did yeah. during COVID. And I felt like I needed to have that creative outlet somewhere, some way. And literally I was drifting off to sleep one night and this rhyme started to come into my head, which is now the story. And I'm one of those people that always has a piece of paper and a pen next to my bedside. And I jotted it down and I just, I couldn't shake it. I needed to do something with it. And uh, I just really pursued it after that. I'm, I'm self-published. It was nothing I ever pursued before. So it's my first book. And uh, it was really a great learning experience from start to finish. And this is a great gift this time of year for sure and it's it's perfect for uh, for winter time and when it's cold weather. Where can people find your book? Sure, so Amazon, um, Barnes & Noble, a lot of great local little bookstores. Alice Ever After right by the Buffalo Zoo. She's been a great supporter. Um, Spruce out in Snyder. It's just been great that the partnerships here with our local stores. I really, uh, really appreciate their sponsorship of the book. I know there's so many people that have see people like you doing something like this and the first thing they say is well, what's your advice you know for people who are interested in thinking you know what I'd like to do something like that I think just take your time with it and, and pursue your dreams if that's something you're really interested in doing it's worth the while um, I'm not gonna say it was all you know peaches and cream the entire time <laughs> it certainly had its bumps along the road but it's so fulfilling and so worthwhile and I think when I get the responses back from my friends and family that have purchased the book and they send me pictures with the kids with the smiles on their faces and how much they've enjoyed reading the book it really makes it all worthwhile Kathy, thank you so much. Again, the book is Marmalade and Mittens. Get a marshmallow. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Kate Wellshofer. Be well, stay well. We'll see you next time.